Hey guys, it's Sky here, back with another YouTube video. So y'all are probably like, why are you in your bathroom? You kind of look a mess, what's going on? Well, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I prep my hair for um like my wash day. I get my hair done by my hairstylist, Greg, and he's amazing, but he straightens my hair. So on those days when my hair is not straight, I try to like not mess with it so much. Also too, let's get to 1.6 million subscribers on here make sure you like comment and subscribe let's get this video to 100k views so anyways i've had this rubber band in my hair which is not the best usually you're supposed to well, my hairstylist told me to do wrenchies but i feel like this rubber band it's like one of them long ones it doesn't cause that much tension on my hair sometimes i'll use it because i just feel like scrunchie doesn't get tight enough when i'm going out and about so anyways this is what my hair is looking like i had some gel in it so what i'm gonna do is turn my faucet on and just wet my hair accordingly and yes i'm dipping my head in the sink okay i don't care hold on y'all that's one side and here's the other side so first i'm gonna just take my hand a little bit i don't want to my my roots too wet that's what my where my new growth is so it's harder to comb out my hair is red so the dye is kind of coming out a little bit but that's fine i don't really care this is how my hair is looking now i know i'm gonna get the comment you said you have 4c hair i did have 4c hair um if you watch me on my old show you can clearly see i have 4c hair i will actually insert pictures here in here to show you that I absolutely did have 4C hair. But when you straighten it so much repeatedly, mind you, I have, I've been keeping my hair straight since, it's basically been a full year, okay, of continuous straightness. Your hair loses its curl pattern, okay? So that's one thing. Another thing, I had something called an STS put in my hair. It kind of just strengthens your hair, makes it easier to comb through, so that as well. I have also bleached my hair. That's another thing too. So all of those components, what do you get? Hair that's not that curly anymore. Am I fine with that? Yes, I am. So what I'm gonna go in with now is this rosemary mint hair mist. Clearly you can see I'm almost out, but I have another bottle in my fridge. I've been using this for, for a while. No, I'm not paid to say this. It's from a brand, a brand called Chups Collection. You can kind of see it right there. I believe it's a black girl who makes these products and rosemary water is just really good for your hair i like to spray this literally everywhere drench my hair like that i don't want to hear in the comments her hair looks so unhealthy it's so damaged i don't care y'all it's heat damage yes but my hair is still healthy my hair grows and doesn't like break off or anything so it's not damaged in that way on this side as well and during this break I don't normally comb through my hair. Um, I might do it a little bit now. Now I'm gonna go in with my oils and everything that I use. I use a large combination of stuff, okay? I use this oil, where is it at? It's this oil. It's so good. I do not know where I got it from. I saw it on TikTok. It's so good, it works like magic, but I don't know the brand. So I'm about to run out and I can't find it again. But I put this on my scalp. And since I'm trying to preserve it, I'm not gonna use too much. And then I go in with this um, herbal hair growth oil. This is infused, it minimizes breakage, everything. It helps with dry scalp, dandruff, which I have. And it says, you can put this on your scalp. You can use it as a hot oil treatment. I'm just gonna shake it up because clearly you can see something stuck at the bottom. Clearly, like if I still wore my hair curly um, 24-7, I'll probably be mad about how me straightening my hair so much kind of, well, not kind of, but it did take my curls away. My hair it still gets curly, just not as much. And it looks less curly when it's wet. I'll probably be mad, but I don't really care. Just gonna massage, massage. I'm gonna massage my scalp with it. I'm gonna like that scratch my scalp. Was that necessary? I'm gonna try this styling curl cream. Um, it's from, I just ordered it. It's from Curl Days. Again, another thing I seen on TikTok. I just wanted to see how it worked because usually I use this whipped hair butter. Cultivating hair care, not sponsored or anything. I bought it with my own money. I've seen it on TikTok. Literally everything I use, I see on TikTok. This smells so good. It says it's good for um, wash and go, twist outs, braid outs, all of the above. So I'm just going to apply it a large amount. 
Maybe I'll put my hair in some braids. I don't know. I probably will. Just because it's super wet right now. And I don't want it to like be impossible to do. Or for my hairstylist to do. Because he's the one that's going to have to do it. But my hair would even be cute with like two little ponytails. But let me not. Because I'm going to look six years old. But I'm also going to take some of this hair butter too. Because it's really thick. And I like something really thick on my hair and i'm just gonna put that there too but again i don't want to hear the comments about her hair so damaged and i don't care y'all clearly i see my hair um it is what it is at this point and there's no going back but as you can see like my roots that's my natural curl texture right there my hair can be hard to comb through when the roots start growing in so that's why i just try not to wet it as much and then i'm gonna take this car car oil this is what it looks like again i purchased this with my own money this is where it's from and i'm gonna put that on my hair strands now i'm gonna comb my well let me section it first i'm really bad at parts y'all it's so crazy all of this is new growth as you can clearly see that's how much my hair has grown oh i'm so out of breath y'all because i had covid like a month ago and you make sure you want to make sure you get those roots too because the roots can be dry so i had covid about a month ago right this is my second time having it it was the worst i ever had it because i could not stop throwing up i could not stop throwing up i was throwing up i threw it probably like 20 something times y'all it was really really bad so it finally went away or whatnot i retested myself i didn't have it I feel like this piece could have been bigger so i'm like yay whatever and then um it's been raining a lot in california i don't know if you guys live in california but if you have if you do you know it's been raining like really really bad so because i have my dog otis i had to walk him and i had to keep going in and out of the rain i feel like i'm on face time with y'all <laughs> keep going in and out of the rain back and forth and i got sick again then i noticed i had shortness of breath and like all these other things so of course i don't play any games i ran to the um doctor and the doctor was like well you just have covid so sometimes your body like will get better and then you'll have like like after symptoms of covid so she was like just i'm gonna prescribe you an inhaler take your inhaler we'll do so that's what i've been dealing with if it sounds like i'm out of breath because i literally am anything that i do just makes me really out of breath so anyways as you can see i did one twist per one twist i don't know what the hell i'm doing y'all Usually my mom would do my twist outs, but I'm a grown lady. So I'm not gonna have to go in her room and ask her cause she's probably gonna say no, which I don't understand why because I wouldn't wanna be twisting no 21 year olds here anyways. Like girl, go do it yourself. But yes, I don't wanna hear it. I know you could see my new growth. It's like this much is new growth. That's a lot of growth. My hair pressed out is like up to here. So again, I'm gonna get those roots nicely. The new growth is the most important. Like you gotta treat it nicely and deal it nicely. Yeah, you just have to, and your ends as well. The ends are important because that's like the weakest part of your hair. It could easily break. That's why low manipulation hairstyles are the best, but I have been doing back to back silk presses. So what I might start doing is like getting um a bang wig or something. Just so, so I can have something to throw on, like keep my hair cornrow, like get my hair straightened, and then leave my hair cornrow for like a month and a half, two months, and not have to worry about it. And switch my hair up because you know, it's not good to like keep doing that. I'm trying to get my new growth, I'm not trying to get too much as well because I don't want to um, manipulate my hair more than I need to. You want me to do more hair care videos, even though I'm trying to figure it out my damn self. Um, I sure will. I don't mind doing them. Just doing this alone, I'm out of breath. You can probably hear it in my chest. I'm very much out of breath. So hopefully this goes away soon and I can fight it off. Because I was scared. I was like, I hope I don't get pneumonia or anything like that. Like something chest related. But, oh, I just broke some of my hair off. I heard it pop. But I don't think I will. I just have to, you know, stay healthy and maintain and take my vitamins drink water my teas all of that but me going back and forth in the cold every single day um they not help but clearly i have to walk my dog i'll do anything for my son my oldest that's my little boy he just turned 11 y'all it's so crazy 
there's another test and I'm going out tomorrow. Um, not to do anything important, but either I'll put a hat on or I'm going to have to just take my twist out and then put it in the ponytail. So we're going to do the front, do the front, get those boots, the ends. And again, y'all, I'm going to remind you, I don't want to hear her hair looks so damaged. I know. I don't want to hear it. It does suck, kind of. Because I would, if I ever wanted to get like my old curl pattern back again, I literally would have to start all over, like cut all my hair off, or cut the um the dead ends. Like you, y'all see how the new growth is like starting here. I'll have to cut like all of this off, and I'm not about to do that. One day I'm gonna cut my hair into a bob, though. I think that would be super cute on me. Maybe when I'm like 23, 24, I'll cut my hair. Um, not right now. But I feel like a bob would be super. Hold on, I'm not breaking it right. Um, a bob would be like super duper duper cute. Let me know what y'all think if I should cut my hair into a bob one day. I'm really bad sometimes with getting it close to the root, but I don't really care. Um, I have the best hairstylist ever. His name is Gray. I've been going to him for a year. He does like all the treatments my hair needs, protein treatments, whatever it may be, he does it. Um, also this brush I'm using is by Felicia Leatherwood. Like the best brush for girls with natural hair. I feel like it uses less tension. Now all those other brushes that have like the backs that open up, they all copied her. Felicia came out with her brush first. And then they came out with theirs, but theirs don't work as well. I've used the knockoff ones and they like snag my hair and other stuff. So I got one more side to go, y'all. I don't know how long this took me to do. <sighs> I'm already out of breath and freaking tired, y'all. But I'm, I ordered this hair, um, hair little gel or moisturizer because this guy was using it and he had like natural, maybe it's like 4A type hair. And his curls are popping. So I was like, everybody was like, does it work with 4C hair? Mind you, I can't really tell you because my hair at this point is not fully 4C. But um, I just, the whole look looked really good on it. So I wanted to try it as well. Not thinking anything of it. I don't really work or anything. I'm, um, I'll add it to this video. I'm going to come back tomorrow, take the twist out, and show y'all how it looks. But I'm putting a lot of it, especially that new growth just because it is probably a little bit drier up there for sure it probably is a lot drier up there and i don't want my hair like breaking off or anything so but i definitely do think i'm gonna get like um a wig now i don't want to do the whole lace works like the glue and the hair on like to me to me i don't know if there's any of y'all that have worn lace fronts before but to me the glue just still like pulls your hair out and I know y'all are like, you're not supposed to be putting a glue in your hair. Well, let's talk about it. So, um, you know, you have to do the ball cap method. To me, that's what pulls your hair out as well. Because you're putting got to be on. Now, again, got to be, I love their hair hairspray. So it's nothing against them. But it's the way y'all are using it. You're putting it to hold a hair cap down. Um, alcohol naturally dries your hair out so you're putting it on the weakest part of your hair your baby hairs to cover the glue if you do that continuously it's going to um make your hair pop off baby hair is the weakest point of the hair well one of the weakest points of, including the ends of your hair alcohol is very drying so if you're doing that back to back to back your edges get thin that's what happened to me i was wearing lace fronts I don't know if they necessarily made my hair grow, but it for sure made my edges like, okay? It made my edges like super bald and thin. They grew back, um, not as thick. I feel like my edges were thicker before. I just, I think the bald cap method is also what pulls your hair out. I don't care how careful the stylist is, it's still pulling your hair out. Wow, and I just learned that myself. That like, you know, when you have weaves and stuff, weaves grow your hair tremendously. But if your hair is super dry underneath and you're not taking it out with anything moisturizing, 
you're just breaking your hair off and you did all that for nothing that's why i think it's important like when you have when you do have a weave to get a stylist that can also not just do your hair but care for your hair so like okay prep your hair for those braids we're gonna wash your hair we're gonna blow dry it we're gonna put a really good moisturizing cream in your hair when we braid it we're gonna put some oil we're gonna spray it down with leave-in conditioner just so your braids are hydrated and then when you're when it's time to take your braids out it's important to um use again like a leave-in conditioner or something to like moisturize that hair because if you're just getting your hair washed straight to blow dry to then popping it in the braids you didn't do any care to your hair and a couple drops of oil is not gonna um do the job like you and i just learned that out, like for real for real um a couple weeks ago that oil doesn't moisturize the hair um itself it when you put a moisturizing cream and then you put oil yeah it'll like lock the moisture and that's what oil does but y'all just doing the quick little one too it's not gonna it's not necessarily gonna do anything so so i don't know where i was going with this but i was just saying i don't want to do lace fronts um i don't want to do anything with glue i don't like how closures look maybe i haven't had a good one but the ones i have i did not like so that's why I'm like, oh, like I don't want to do a closure because I don't usually like how it looks. And I like the look of a frontal better when you glue it down and whatnot. But I know I don't want that for my hair. I don't want to continue it. Like I don't want to do the glue and then the glue gets stuck in the little baby hairs. Um, another thing, stop letting y'all's hair stylist put the glue like on the ball cap. That's not, like, you're not supposed to do that. A stylist did that to me before, and I was thinking, like, what the heck is she doing? Like, you're not supposed to put that on there. Um, I feel like there should be, someone needs to, like, find another solution to a ball cap method so we can still have the ball cap, but not damage your edges. Girls will have long hair from wearing wigs, but sometimes their edges will be, nowhere to be found and it's not their fault it's just because like they don't they probably don't know any better um but i'd rather have edges than just long hair but anyways i do want a bang wig because i feel like the bang wig you just pop it on i don't have to do anything i don't have to put a ball cap on i just have my braid down and then i could take it off in between and spray my hair with anything that's moisturizing, oil it, put cream on it while it's even in the braids, and like that'll be really good. Um, because I just feel like, or at least my scalp, if I have it covered with a wig like that for a week or two, my scalp gets extreme dandruff. Like I can't, my scalp just can't do it. Um, I don't know how people can have a lace front on for over a week. First of all, it gets very hot up under there musty and then too i'm not saying other people's hair is musty but for me it's just real like uh -uh, i don't want that and then you gotta worry about every night oh my god is my glue lifting do i gotta put more i gotta do this like no i'm not doing all that this is what the hair looks like it looks crazy <laughs> but i'm gonna put a scrunchie i'm gonna um come back tomorrow and show you guys how it looks and whatnot to see if this was just a major fail and I should have just kept my hair in a bun like I had it. But I like to try different things. So I wanted to try it and see if it worked. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Okay. Hey, guys. So remember how I said I was going to come back and show you my twist out? I forgot. And it looks... Uh, look at my hair. <laughs> a hot ass mess but i'm getting it done today so it's okay but this is what my freaking hair looks like y'all i just got fruit in my hair and i got dandruff too i have really bad dandruff sometimes so make sure y'all like comment and subscribe if you want to see that um you know like i said let's get to 1.6 million subscribers let's try to get this to over 20k likes over 100k views and I will see y'all in the next video. But if, like I said, if you want me to do a silk press, like how my hairstylist does my hair, I will go ahead and do that video for y'all. Bye.